who is eating cat in Ohio. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. From immigration to the economy. Donald Trump left us the worst unemployment since the Great Depression. The gloves came off in a debate that may decide our next president. A bunch of lies, grievances, and name calling. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor in economics, and he taught her well. The Shade Room in the ABC News Spin Room. It was an attack session on Donald Trump. It wasn't even close. Did Trump do enough to win over undecided voters? Did Vice President Harris hammer down her plans hard enough? I'm Justin Carter here in the spin room at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. TSR News, it starts right now. It was fiery from the start. Donald Trump was fired by 81 million people. So let's be clear about that. And clearly he is having a very difficult time processing that. You talk about a threat to democracy. He got 14 million votes and they threw him out of office. And you know what? I'll give you a little secret. He hates her. He can't stand her. But from jump, it was clear that Vice President Harris had a game plan to get ahead of Trump's alleged history of lying. Tonight, you're going to hear from the same old tired playbook, a bunch of lies, grievances, and name calling. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating... They're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. One of the first head turning moments about 10 minutes in Trump calling out the Biden Harris administration on their immigration policies, falsely claiming as indicated by the hosts and Ohio officials that immigrants are eating animals in the street in Springfield, Ohio. The city recently took in an influx of Haitian immigrants. I just want to clarify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there had been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the-, the People on television say my dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people on I'm television are saying the their dog was eaten by the people that went there. Trump also fact-checked again, taking credit for ending Roe versus Wade, praising himself and the conservative Supreme Court justices who voted to end the national right to an abortion two years ago and return power to the states. He said, though, that he would not commit to signing a national abortion ban if he was president. Her vice presidential pick says abortion in the ninth month is absolutely fine. He also says execution after birth. It's execution, no longer abortion, because the baby is born is OK. And that's not OK with me. I absolutely support reinstating the protections of Roe v. Wade. And as you rightly mentioned, nowhere in America is a woman carrying a pregnancy to term and, and, and asking for an abortion. That is not happening. It's insulting to the women of America. We spoke to Republican Senator Tim Scott just moments after the debate. We know without any question is late term abortions under the current construct are legal. What she would, what she refused to say when asked what would you do about that? She just dodged that ball. We checked. In Minnesota, state law does not include any specific prohibitions on abortions at any stage of pregnancy, although late-term abortions are extremely rare. The economy, another hot topic. Vice President Harris accusing Trump of only wanting to offer tax breaks for the richest people. Trump, though, countered by saying that Harris lacked a detailed plan. And remember this, she is Biden. You know, she's trying to get away from Biden. I don't know the gentleman, she says. She is Biden. The worst inflation we've ever had. A horrible economy because inflation has made it so bad. Clearly, I am not Joe Biden. And I am certainly not Donald Trump. And what I do offer is a new generation of leadership for our country. Laura Trump, co-chair of the Republican National Committee, in the spin room after the debate. Why hasn't she brought down inflation? Why hasn't she closed the border? I think you had a fine night. I think that this was a night that was absolutely necessary, and I am so happy we finally got to see these two people on a stage. I wish we had two more debates. We usually have three presidential debates. Kamala Harris has said she only wants one so far. Donald Trump would certainly be willing to do another debate. 
New York Councilman Yusuf Salam had a different view. He was pleasantly surprised when Vice President Harris spoke about the exonerated five, calling Trump out for previously pushing for them to face the death penalty. He also had an exchange with him in the spin room moments after the debate. I'm Yusef Salam, one of the exonerated five. You're on my side. No, 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 I'm not on your side. That's <laughs> Will you apologize? Somehow has the gall to even think that I would be on his side. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be as Kamala Harris did in the debate and not use those bad words. You were named in this debate. Did you expect that to happen? Not named specifically, but I did the not. experience. I did not. I think this is a full circle moment because, see, Dr. Maya Angelou said, when a person shows you who they are, you have to believe them. Kamala Harris was showing us who Donald Trump is. And in that trajectory, she included the exonerated five, then known as the Central Park Five. What a great moment for us to be lifted up in this debate. It's full circle moment. In the minutes that followed the debate, the Harris team said that she wants to debate Trump again. But Trump, taking to Truth Social, writing, quote, that in the world of boxing or UFC, when a fighter gets beaten or knocked out, they get up and scream, I demand a rematch. I demand a rematch. Well, it's no different than a debate. She was beaten badly last night. Every poll has us winning. In one case, 92 to 8. So why would I do a rematch? End quote. A new CNN poll showing Harris winning the debate 63% to 37% among debate watchers. However, they still prefer Trump by 20 points on the economy and 23 points on immigration. And now we look ahead to the vice presidential debate, which will happen October 1st in New York City between J.D. Vance and Tim Walls on CBS News. For TSR News, I'm Justin Carter.